Have you ever wondered how fuels work? Generally, when we burn anything in air, it reacts with oxygen in air. Like when we burn a piece of coal, carbon in it reacts with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and heat. This chemical process in which substances react with oxygen and give off heat is called combustion. Combustible materials burn. Can you burn glass, stone, bricks, etc.? If you try to burn them, they will become hot, but they wouldn't burn because they are not combustible. Some substances catch fire very easily, like a little spark is enough to set petrol or kerosene on fire. Those are called highly inflammable. On the other hand, it would take little time to catch fire. If you are wondering the reason, you must know that a certain temperature is required for a substance to catch fire and start burning. That temperature is auto-ignition or ignition temperature of the substance. Ignition temperature low means that substance would reach that temperature faster and burst into flame, which is the case for extremely inflammable substances like kerosene, diesel, etc. If ignition temperature is high, that substance would take longer time to reach that temperature. That is why it would take little time to catch fire. Not all substances burn same way. You must have seen coal burning without flame. That slow and flameless combustion is called smoldering. When we light gas stove, gas burns rapidly and produce lots of heat. This type of combustion is rapid combustion. Rapid combustion generally produces flame. It produces more heat than smoldering does. When you burn cracker, suddenly lots of heat, light and sound are produced in a quick reaction. Such combustion is called explosion. So explosions are type of combustion too. But there are few substances which burst into flame suddenly though we haven't applied any heat. Like white phosphorus, it is so active that it reacts with oxygen in normal room temperature and produce lots of heat. We can call this kind of combustion spontaneous combustion.